G'day, let's have a look at a few different types of cable strippers. So I've got five different ones here. Some of them are quite specialized and some of them are fairly general use. So I'll pretty much start with this center one here. I think this is gonna be the most common one and it's probably one of the most versatile ones here. It is also, I think pretty much the biggest. I mean, this one's quite beefy as well, um, but this has a bunch of weight to it and these nice big handles. So the way this one works is up the top here, Oh shit, I'll just chuck a cable in. So you put that cable up there and then you slowly pull it. You can see those two arms kind of clamp down, hold this side nice and tight. And then that side there is what actually gets stripped. So then as you keep pulling it, you see it just strips that cable nice and easy. So this is fairly versatile. You can use it for a bunch of different thicknesses of cable. So this one might actually be pushing it, but it should still strip a little bit. Okay. so. That's probably about its limit. It's not really gonna do that all too well. You're better off using something different for this. But when you are stripping some of these smaller, smaller diameter cables, very nice and easy, and it gets that really nice and clean strip to it. What it does also have is this little arm here, so you can move that in and out. And the reason that's there is so you can strip a very precise length of cable. So it acts as that backstopper. So when you push that cable in, it'll always stop there. So if you do multiple, you can always strip it to the same length. So most of these actually, these two over here have the same thing, but I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to it. So you've got that arm, you can adjust to it, strip it a certain length, put it in, pull it. Um, what this one also has, is got a cable cutter down the bottom here. So just this little blade that you can press up against that other side, and that's a cable cutter there. And then just below that, we've got a bunch of crimps. So we've got one big insulation crimper there, and then we've got three smaller ones. So where that comes in handy is you saw, I just stripped that cable. If you then crimp it, there you go. Um, and it's not the best job just there, but you, you get the point. So you, you can crimp that up pretty well. So with this one tool, you can use this as a cutter, stripper, and then crimper. So you can kind of get, get that whole job done nice and quick. Uh, where this one doesn't work too well is in any sort of confined spaces because you do need that cable to come in sideways. So for example, if this cable is sitting inside a box or something like this, it can be really difficult to actually get into it. Um, that's where this guy comes in handy. So we'll have a look at that one. Um, but this is, this is very nice. Um, any sort of electronics work, if you're just working on a bench, that sort of stuff, I tend to use this one or this sort of style one the most. It just works really nice um, and gets the job done. The other good thing about this one is it, it is quite wide here. So you can put multiple cables in. So if you've got double or even ribbon cable where you've got a bunch of strands together, you can easily just put that in and it strips multiple at the same time, no problem. So that's that's kind of the, the highlights of this one. The, the drawback is it probably is the heaviest and it is quite bulky in, in that size. But then I think we'll move on to this one. So obviously the, the grip for this is completely different. The, the casing of this as well is all plastic. It is a glass reinforced plastic, so it is quite nice and sturdy. Whereas this one does actually have that metal on, on the bottom. So this one here is a lot lighter. The grip for it is really nice. You just hold it really nicely. You pull this lever forward it clicks in and it'll strip it. So likewise with that one, um, it does also have a cutter up the top here. So you can put a cable in and cut that and then just chops it off. No problem at all, really nice and clean cut. And then you put that cable in, hold it, strip it. Nice, nicely done, nice and quick. So same with this one as well is you've got this red arm here that you can slide backwards and forwards between six and 18 millimeters. So then you can also have that consistent length of strip each, each strip. And this little slider up the top here just adjusts the down pressure on that cutting tooth there. So if you're working with thicker cable, you usually put it um, on the least resistance there on the negative. And then if you're working with really small, fine stuff, you put it on the plus just to have um, a bit more push down. So for example, uh, this here is just ethernet cable twisted pair. So, sorry, I get that in properly. We could just get that in, strip it, it pulls that nicely and you can pull the rest of the way and that's nicely stripped, stripped very nice. Likewise with this one, this will strip some of these finer cables really well as well. So really good to see the nice and versatile. This one here is from 0 0.2 to six millimeters and 0 0.2 to six millimeters. So these two seem to strip the same, um, the same cable diameter from 0 0.2 to six millimeters. But again, this, this Nipex one here is really handy if you're working in smaller spaces or in switchboards or things like that, where you've got cables. I'll just chop that and give you an example. If you've got cables that are in small spaces, uh, you can come in very nice and easy like that, pull it, and then that does a really good job stripping that. Whereas again, with this one, that might be a lot harder to do. 
Uh, this one yeah has a cutter up the top as I said, but it doesn't have a crimper, so you can't crimp with this one at all. Um, the other one actually, let's probably have a look at this one. So this is the Nipex Ergo Grip. So really nice and small, super lightweight. It's just a plastic construction. I don't know if it actually has any markings of what the plastic is, but it would also have a bunch of reinforcing as well. It's got that really nice honeycomb structure in there, um, so it is very sturdy. Um, it doesn't it doesn't feel wonky at all. It is really really nice. So they also make a left and a right-handed var variant of this. So I'm right-handed, so I've got a right-handed one here. You've just got that thumb press there. And that's basically how it comes. Up the top here, you've got a really nice thick stripper. On this side here, a slightly smaller one. And then on the side, you've got a whole bunch of other ones that are marked on the size as well. So from 0 0.2 up to four millimeters um, cable stripping there. The other feature of this one is that locks away really nicely. So it is spring-loaded, but if you want it locked, you just lock it push that down, it unlocks it, and then you can hold that with one hand and kind of operate it really nicely. On the side here as well is, you can see that fixed blade in there. So that there just acts as a, as a cutter. So if you do want to cut this cable, you put it through, pull it down and pull it, and then it will split, split that cable. You can see, put that slit in it. Um, so let's do that a little bit longer. There you go, so nice and easy. You can um, split that cable that way, and then you come to these these thinner ones, pull it through. You, you, they say you do quarter turn, and then just pull that out, and that always seems to work really well. If the cable's a little bit stubborn, you just turn it a little bit more, but that sort of quarter turn, push against it, and it just does that job really well. So what I have found, though, with this one is it tends to work for bigger cables, so anything pretty much above that half millimeter or 0.8 millimeter work pretty well, but the 0.2 and 0.3 just don't work all that well for me for, for thinner cables, which is not what it's meant for. This this really is meant for, I guess, electricians or, or when you're working on these sort of thicker cables and, and power and 240 volt cables. But really nice small form factor, super lightweight and really nice and sturdy. And actually this other side here, so this other side is spring loaded as well. Um, and this it does, does have a thinner diameter cable there, but this is made for coaxial cable. So if you're working with coax or um, anything to do with antennas or signals like that, uh, this side here will be very handy for you. So you also just flip it and then you've got that same sort of operation. So love this thing. Absolutely awesome. Um, it's not that cheap, but it is very worth having and, and really good and handy for this sort of stuff. Talk about this one here. So this one here specifically is from RS Components, but um, Nipex makes the same sort of this. I've used that one for a little bit longer. Um, this is really nice, but this is pretty much for your bigger cables. You can fit a cable in there. So the way this works is you could see that little blade in there. So that's the cutting arm. And then you can rotate this and adjust how deep that goes. So you can actually adjust how thick into the cable that'll go. So depending on the thickness of the insulation on the cable, you adjust this and then cut it. So I'll just do a clean bit here. Let's get that cut. So what you do is you, you push this up, put it around a cable, and then you just twist the whole thing around a couple of times. And then what you can do is you can also just pull this straight off. So as you pull that off, that cable will just come off or that, that um, insulation will just come off really nice. And you see how nice and easy that was. You do that again twist a couple of times and then just pull and then that comes off really nice. So some of these, I think the Nipex ones actually have a rotating head in there as well. So that will rotate. So what you do is as you make a cut, as you make a cut around that, it'll cut the cable. And then when you pull it, that blade will rotate and it'll put a little slit all the way down the cable. Kind of what this one does here. So kind of what that does when you pull it through like this. So that's really handy with thicker cables because then it's a lot easier to get that insulation off. You just sort of slide it off. So I'll put a link down below to this one and also to that Nipex one that I'm talking about. So just don't have it here with me. So, but again, the, the beauty of this thing is this will work for a lot thicker cables. So realistically, you could put 20, 30 millimeter cable in here and strip through that and also have quite thick insulation that this will cut through. So I can keep, keep winding that. You can see that comes out probably maybe about four millimeters. So you can go quite deep into it. So I guess this one is fairly specialized. You would really only use this for thicker cable. You're not going to go that well with this thin stuff because you can put it in there and you can see that cutting blade just doesn't, doesn't really cut it. It just slides straight through. So it's, it's no good for stripping thinner cables like this. 
So kind of on the opposite side of this one, this one here is good for thick stuff. And then we've got this little Jakari one, and this is good for your thin stuff. So this one here is only between one millimeter and 0 0.3 millimeters. So working on, I guess, any sort of ethernet cables or, or very thin cables, that's where this thing comes in really handy. So you can see currently it's just tucked away in its little storage position. So you pull this little lever up and you can see that just pops out. So it's really nice. You can lock that away for when you're not using it. So it doesn't get caught on things and you push that up and then this little handle comes out. So that there, you effectively hold it in your hand then you push that button down and that inside there is where the stripper is. So that comes through. On this side here as well, we've got a cutter. So I'll demonstrate that just on this ethernet cable here. This is, this is nice, and, nice and thin. So again, both of these guys will do the job just fine. Actually, ah, put more pressure on that one. Yeah, so you can see it does struggle a little bit because it is rated for, for 0 0.6 or 0 0.2 millimeters. So it is on the lower side of that, but I think this one will work a little bit better. Yeah, so that works, that works fine there. But when you actually got this one, you can come on the end here, hear that nice little click and it just does a really nice clean, clean chop. Once you've chopped it, then you just push this cable in and then you've got this little black stopper here. So that's going to be your depth gauge. It just stops there. You push it down, little twist and then pull. And then that just does a really nice strip. So this one here, you just tend to have a lot more control than these other bigger ones for when you are working on small, small things because you, there's just less tool to it. That little cable just gotten stuck in because there's just less tool to it. And you, you get this really nice control of this little push. So push that down a little rotate and then just pull, pull that out. This is really handy if you are working on a lot of thin cables, because what's really nice is you just got that super nice click down the bottom. You can see how easy that is just to cut that cable. And you can cut it a little bit thicker as well. So this is just a double twisted pair. It will cut it. Um, although it doesn't love it all that too much. This really is for your thin, thin sensitive cables but it works, it works really well. So they do make these in a, in a bunch of different configurations for a bunch of different sizes. So obviously you just pick, pick what size you'll be working with the most and get one in the range. So again, what I didn't mention is it's just up the top here. You just set this, the thickness of the cable. So you've got from that 0 0.3 up to that one millimeter. So by sliding this little red tab here, what that does is it adjusts that little arm in there. You, yeah, you should just be able to see that little red arm and then that little red arm comes out here. So it effectively stops the depth of how far, or sets the depth of how far you can press this. And by pressing that, that just controls that, that little cutting tool in there of how deep that'll go. So really nice one, but again, this is, this is used for your fine, fine cables. So kind of in the middle, you've got your two fairly general purpose ones that'll do pretty much anything. It'll do a really good job. You've got maybe your out in the field one, nice portable one for, for sort of bigger stuff. So I guess put that on this side here. You've got your one for really thick cable um, and then this one here for, for smaller cable. So if you are interested in any of these, I'll put links down below as always have a look down there. Um, and thanks for watching.